Hello everybody and welcome to part 19 on Snow Runner. So behind us we have a very big oil rig that has to be transported to the port and today we're going to be doing that. So before we start I'm gonna go onto the map and of course we're gonna select the mission floating drill. So we're gonna go ahead and activate it of course and of course we need an off-road truck, a saddle high required and of course we have all those things so let's start with the, so let's begin with starting the engine first and putting on all the drive because we're definitely going to struggle around here on this uh, very rough terrain so we're going to go ahead and attach it like always we do there we go so now it's attached and it's actually really shaking a lot <laughs> okay attached trailer oh wow that was <laughs> man this might be our biggest like biggest delivery at this point this might be the biggest one so far so I'm definitely gonna sit in first person for this because it's going to be definitely difficult to uh, <laughs> with staying here on on this camera view damn this is, this is huge but I mean it's going to be fun I guess at least we have a different delivery than yeah than normally wood or metal at least it's something different and unique, how to say. So let's, of course, go back to here. And hopefully we can actually transport it because it's not the most lightest thing, let's say. It's not the lightest thing. So we're definitely going to have to, like, use low range. So I'm going to go ahead and use it right now. So there you go. Yeah, this is definitely going to take a while, but it's going to be worth it, guys. It's definitely going to be worth it. Let's actually maybe put it back to drive but hopefully it's also not gonna flip over because this thing is like massive and like pretty high so it might also tip over if we get like pretty close to uh, yeah at a point hopefully that's not gonna happen we're literally sinking in the ground because of all the weight to be expected of course this oil rig isn't like light at all <laughs> So, like, I think we're, like, transporting at least, like, a six or a seven ton trailer behind us. So, maybe even less, maybe, like, two or three tons or even five. But I don't know how much this uh, oil rig weighs. I mean, it, would, it, could be, it could be amazing if I could actually see how much it weighs, but sadly I can't. So, yeah, we're uh, a little bit, a little bit str we're struggling a little bit. But, I mean, it's not too bad. Okay, so I'm thinking if I should go this way. Because, definitely, this looks much dangerous. So, you know what, guys? I'm going this way. I'm going to go this way. I don't, hopefully, we can also fit through the trees and all that. Because it's not a small trailer. Let's say that. It's not really small. But we're definitely going to be having... We're definitely going to have situations where we have to uh, use our winch. So... Definitely that's gonna happen, but look at this. The truck is uh, doing fairly good. Okay, here, I don't know, I don't, I'm not really sure about this because there's a lot of snow here. Okay, yeah. It's getting pretty hard for you, so I'm just gonna help you a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if this tree can help us a little bit. Man, you're so big. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're so big. I don't know if this was the best way, but I think it is because I really do not trust the uh, going that way because it literally feels like you're gonna t tip over something or even the truck. It feels like that. Okay, great. Don't say we got ourselves already stuck. Yeah, that tree is definitely gonna break. <laughs> to be expected with our uh, pretty big load. Okay, a little bit more. Come on. A little bit more. Okay, there we go. You're doing fine. Damn, I really wasn't expecting this to be that that heavy. Okay, let's see. Can I attach myself to another tree? No, no, no. This one. I'm talking about this tree. Oh, yes. There we go. Now it's helping us. Oh, man. Look how close it's... It's like... I don't know if this was the best route. I don't know. Still, I'm still trying to redeem myself a little bit, but I, I'm not really sure if I can. 
Okay, what happens if I put it in low range? Okay, that's not really happening. There's really nothing else happening at this point. Uh, well, another winch then. Okay, that tree. Wow, okay. That's a strong tree. It's literally taking all of my all of my weight. Come on, you're almost out of, the, out of the snow. Just just attach yourself to one more tree, which is this one. This might be our last chance. Come on. We're also burning through quite a lot of fuel. Okay, come on, please say there's one more tree. Nope, there's nothing. Not really. I think we're like bottoming, bottoming out. That's That might be why. Kind of bottoming, bottoming out. Okay, let's see if this tree can help us. Come on, pull me to victory. Oh, it's literally not touching the the, uh, <laughs> the ground. Oh crap! This is scary. There we go. Yes, pull, pull. Yes, there we go. Okay, I think we made it. Did we made it? Yes, we did. Come on. Okay, so here, of course, we're gonna be digging ourselves into this mud. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, again. There we go. Okay, at least we did it, guys. At least we made it out. So now we can just keep on driving, of course. Keep on driving. Da -da -da -da. Keep on driving. Come on, get those RPMs up. Get them bottom out. Oh, no, I think it's doing it again. Oh, come on. Just keep going. <laughs> oh, we're gonna we're gonna be stuck here for quite some time, I'm guessing. Okay, guys. So we finally made it out, and if you cannot tell, um, <laughs> it was really difficult. Like it was amazingly difficult to get out of there, but we did it. And I think it was a good idea because I'm happy that we had didn't have to go through there, to that very, very difficult other passage. But okay, anyways, I'm getting myself stuck into a tree. That's fun. Uh, can I attach my winch to here? Yes, I can. Let's see. Can I just pull myself a little bit to here, so I can actually properly get myself out? Okay. Let's see. Let's keep going. Slowly, we're not just we're not just gonna hit the gas. I mean, we're hitting the gas right now, but Okay, here we go. We made it Nicely done truck nicely done Okay, okay, I don't want you to flip over. Let's let me just say that Before you do that. I'm gonna Okay, Come on don't bounce. <laughs> I know you want to bounce around everywhere, but it's not the time for to do that now. Okay, here we go. Man, this is this is such a big trailer. I don't know how they even got this in the first place here. That's what I'm also asking. Like, maybe they made it. They made it there, and now, I mean, ah, uh, not difficult. So, come on, come on, keep going. We're almost at the place where it's gonna be. When? It, yeah, I mean, the, the <laughs> okay. Let me sit. I don't know what I'm saying, guys, but I'm now I'm going to try to explain it. Uh, we're almost getting close to, like, the muddy place where we got stuck multiple times there. If you guys know what I'm talking about, we will get there in a minute. Uh, let's see, where are we now? Yeah, we're getting pretty close there. We're still a pretty far way to go before we get there. Okay, yeah, we're going a little faster than before. That's, that's a plus. <laughs> that's definitely a plus. We're just going to take the main dirt road over here. We're not going to take that that one. That looks pretty scary to take. Okay. Let's keep going. Good job. Yeah, I would have definitely struggled with the Paystar, for sure. With this, like, this trail on the back of it and our little Paystar trying to, like... 
like with its with small, I mean, fairly small engine. I think I think it has the same engine as a Paystar. I'm not really sure. But the Royale, I think it has a little bit of a different engine. Maybe, I mean, maybe the same might be, but I'm sure that is definitely a different engine and more powerful, I guess. More horsepower. Torque power, if you guys know the word. Get those torques going. Okay. There we go. Just jumping a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of jumping. Okay. Water over road. Of course. This is the most difficult part. Which is not going to be a problem because we do have a truck, other trucks that can help us get out to get out of here. Oh, come on, don't say you're already stuck. Uh, oh, great. Um, let's see. Winch, can you help me? Yes, you can. A little bit. Damn, I have wasted about like a hundred liters of fuel about about now. But I mean, <laughs> it's to be expected. I mean, look at this. There's no way that, that a normal like highway truck can actually like pull this thing. Okay, now I'm pretty screwed. Uh, let's see, what happens if I put in low range? Is that gonna make a difference? Nope, not really, by the looks of it. Not really. So we might have to get the the thing out. Uh, yeah. Come on, show me some other trees. What happens if I go to this one? It's literally not letting me do it. Damn it. Uh, pull me to the side. Yeah. Pull me to the side. To the side, to the side. Yeah, I think that helped us a little bit. Yeah, it did. Not bad, not bad. We're getting pretty close at... Uh, wow, look at that. We're already at 96 liters in our fuel tank. Pretty small. Okay, but at least we're, we're here. This is where stuff might get really difficult for us. Might. I'm not, I'm not sure, but it might. So we're definitely gonna go straight into the mud. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's not looking good. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised that it's still going. Like, not fast, but still going. Oh, wow. Now we're sinking. <laughs> now we just sank ourselves in. I'm really surprised how strong these trees are. They can, like, take anything. Okay. Let's keep going. We're still going pretty slow, but it's not about going fast. It's about pres precision. My uh, 101 English, thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, this tree. Perfect. Look. Look at this. Nice. Oh, man. I'm getting really excited. We're getting close. We're getting close. And then we're finally going to have a road. A proper road to drive on. Not this not this dirt every time. And we're getting ourselves stuck too much in. Okay. Now it's really doesn't now it doesn't really want to move anymore. That's worrying. That's something to be to get worried about. Uh, tree. Uh, this might be our last one. Yeah, that looks like the last one. Oh cop And you just had to break. No! Come on! You just had to break! You just had to do that. Oh man. We're so, we're so close. I think I think guys, um, yeah, we might have to get some help from our different vehicles. So you know what? Um, I don't know if I should maybe take the Fleet Star, maybe or the Pay Star. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and park it. Just yeah, we're gonna turn off the engine because there's no no need to leave it on. So do we have any trucks over here? Uh, let's see. So yeah, we do have. I think that's a paystar. No, the paystar is over here. 
Well, then, we're gonna go ahead and take out the Fleet Star, then. I mean, it's still a pretty capable truck, so we're definitely going to use this little thing. It should be ca more than capable to get it out. I'm not really sure with our very small vehicles. I'm not really sure about that, but I think the truck can do this. It has a fairly powerful and good engine to pull it out. And also has diff lock and all-wheel drive, all those very, very good things that are going to help us, of course. So we're just gonna drive to there. To there. Oh, wow, drift. Let's go. Drift at the Fleet Star. So yeah, but at some point, guys, we might have to sell this because, I mean, it's getting outdated. Ooh, another drift. Let's go. But yeah, at some point, the, this truck might get out, uh, outdated and then we have to sell it at some point, which is going to happen. Maybe, like, in a couple of videos, you guys might see the, the Fleet Star just disappear because I sold it. For a different truck, of course. We have to always move on. So, I might do that at some point, but... Wow. The truck really likes to drift a lot. Yeah, let's go into the mud. Wow, from afar, like, from the far, it looks, <laughs> it looks massive, and our little truck over here trying to pull this thing. Okay, come on, Fleet Star. I know you can do this. I know you can. I know you have the power and the strength to do it, so let's see. Right about here. Nope, even closer. Even closer. Okay, here it is. Nope, a little more. Okay, that's it. Perfect, okay. So. Definitely, uh, no, we can't put on low range. Um, is it going to be enabled? No, I think it's not. Surprise! <laughs> surprise, surprise. It's not really... Um, but it's trying. I think so. Is it trying? Yeah, like very, very slow. But not really doing much. By the looks of it. Well, this might take a while. Are we moving backwards, actually? I think we are. Okay, it's getting closer. So we're getting pretty close to getting it out. Uh, so I was trying to do it the other way, and this is actually the... I mean, I had to go backwards and do it in this sort of way. But look at this. I think we're going to do it. Just a little bit more pulling, and I think we're just going to go ahead and just leave it alone. Because there's a little bit of pulling to do. I mean, the, the, the Felice Star is of such a reliable truck. Even with highway tires, it's pretty reliable and strong. Not the strongest truck, but for its size, definitely. It's definitely doing a very impressive job of pulling this out of the, the very steep mud. And then we're finally going to be arriving at a road. And then we can... Finally relax <laughs> with all the with all the stress that we I mean not saying that I'm stressing but just with all the stuff that has been happening. We can finally take a break and just drive on a normal road. Okay, let's see. Are you getting close? I'm still I'm still pulling it. A little bit faster, but Yeah, I think it's out. So let's go ahead and okay. So let's put it back to normal. And move it to the side, like very, very close. So, because I might actually, you know what? Let's just keep driving and be a little bit more thoughtful. I mean, think about this rationally. I'm gonna put this over here. Come on, okay, screw it. Screw the garage. <laughs> okay. So uh, stop engine, and we're gonna change trucks. Okay, I can't. I have to do it from the map. Uh, Royale BM-17. Okay, we, we have about 17% of our fuel left. It's getting pretty red. It's getting pretty red. Okay, so at least it's out. Now we can continue on our journey to delivering the oil rig. With only 47 liters left in our tank. 
But we will get there. No problem. I mean, I could switch over to maybe... Yeah, we could maybe turn on uh, all the drive. Oh, no, never mind. That was not a really good idea, is it? I mean, let's say you're stuck. <gasps> oh, god damn, I just realized. <laughs> um, yeah, the, yeah, the guardrails. Okay, that might get difficult to turn. Well, I'm gonna turn a little bit more into the snow then. If that's okay with, with you. Keep turning, keep turning. Come on. Yes, okay, there we go. Now we can keep going. Ooh, look at this. Look at the fuel. It's getting pretty red and unhappy. Please. Please, the gods of fuel. Let me just get to my destination, and I'm going to be really happy. Let me just get there. Because I'm really close. Really, really close with this delivery. Okay. And I'm so happy to be driving on the road. I mean, still, stuff can happen. Like, <laughs> this could, fit, this thing could also flip over. Like, you know, that could always happen. Okay, why are you struggling? Don't do that. Don't do this. Are you going into the snow? Oh, that's what I thought. You were going through the snow. Or going into the snow. Okay, 33 la liters left, and I think if we arrive, we're gonna be about like tw 25 if we arrive. Damn. If we, if, if we, okay, if we even had even less fuel, yeah, then we would have been screwed. Then we just had to find a vehicle and drive all the way to there. No, 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 don't lose any grip. Don't do that. Now it's not the right time. Don't want to squash my truck. Okay, and here we go. Now we can just... Oh, okay. Whoops. I just hit something. Okay, so I guess I've delivered over here. The place. Okay, so disposed of all the junk. And we've got some not bad experience points. So, if you cannot tell, we only have like 28... Uh, liters left, so we're definitely gonna turn off the engine for now and now uh, Let's see Ooh, blackbird. We unlocked a, uh, a new mission uh, so Mountain River, okay, so we have a new mission or new contract in another map That's interesting, uh, but now what I want to do is start with finishing these roadblocks over here So I'm gonna see if I can maybe get out um, The Western Star because it's like over here Actually, one of my, uh, actually, let's see. Where is my paystar? Okay, so the paystar is over here. I'm curious if it has a trailer. If it does, then... Uh, so we definitely have to pick up some saw stuff. Yeah, you know what? Let's switch over to here. So, turn on the engine, and... You know what? Sorry, guys. I have to do this. I have to... I have to <laughs> do this. It's just really dark. Okay, perfect. Now we have the paystar over here. Our port truck that we have abandoned. But now it's going to be get used. It's going to be get used. So hopefully we also... So I'm curious what we actually need. Uh, so, Stonefall. We need one metal plank. Plank. Or planks. And then rock falls. Two wooden planks. Okay, so we definitely need three things. So two... Two on the trailer, and hopefully we can also find a trailer that we can attach on onto the back of it, so we can transport more things, more goodies. So of course we're gonna be doing that. What about truck? Okay, no. Not what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> Press the wrong button. Okay, so can we go through this water? I think we can. We have all terrain tires, so it should. It's an also it's also not for the truck. A base, base truck, base uh, off-road truck in the game. Is it? I'm not really sure. I think it's the base like truck that you that you like that you can buy with like the cheapest 
think this is, I, I'm just trying to say that it's, I think it's cheapest things. Cheapest off-road truck. Okay, and then I think we have to turn over here. Okay, great. And now we can just speed up a little bit. I also have to look out with my suspension, because suspension is also pretty, pretty damaged. My poor suspension. Okay. Our little Fleet Star. Our only and first truck that we ever bought. <laughs> I still remember that moment. At a very exciting moment that we bought our first off-road truck. But now we have some better ones. So this one might not get used as much. Okay, so we definitely have to pick up something here. So I'm curious what. What is the thing that we have to pick up over here? Uh, what is this place? Okay, that's the, the factory. So I'm guessing steel planks. So let's see. Uh, no, this is the trailer. Wait a minute. Oh, it's right here. Is it? Uh, so task. No, that's not it. Uh, well. Oh, it's over here. God damn it, I'm, I'm mixing stuff up. I'm literally doing that. Okay, here it is. So, we need... Oh. Never mind. Um, well, I think that's going to be maybe... F um... Yeah, I didn't expect that. We actually need a bigger truck for that. <laughs> so, let's see if we can at least finish that other, uh, other task with removing the, the rocks or the snow. Was it the rocks? Hang on, let's see. I think it was the rocks or the stone. But I think it's, yeah, it's the rocks, definitely. So, over here. So let's go to the sawmill, I guess. We're gonna be traveling to there. Okay. Come on, keep going. Keep going, my truck. Trucky truck. Look at this. It still has its glory to go off-road. All the glory that it has. Oh, it just switched gears. Great. In the middle of going up this hill, it just switched gears. Great. That was a good idea. Greatest idea you could have done. And now we can just keep on going, keep, mo keep on moving, keep on moving, keep on going, da -da 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 -da. keep on moving, keep on going. Okay, so over here, uh, we have to pick up some planks. Please tell me there's a trailer somewhere, like a, ver like a very big one, that would be amazing doesn't look like it. So, I think the only thing that we can do is just pick up some wooden planks. Only one. So, at least our truck is going to be fairly lightweight. Uh, is there a trailer around here? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Well, that's sad. I'm just going to turn over here. Turn. Go through here. Oh, don't don't destroy the the, bre uh, the bench. Don't do that. Okay, nice and easy squeeze. So now, um, yeah, we're just gonna drive to the location. I'm gonna go ahead and also activate it. Uh, was it the rocks? Oh no, wait, two wooden planks. Wait, guys. Wow. Okay. Never mind. We actually need two. Okay, so one wooden plank, and what now? Was there actually a trailer at the fuel station? No, also not. Doesn't look like there was a trailer there. So, uh, okay, now I can act activate it. Rocks fall, or we just, yeah. Oh, it's over, okay, we just have to drive to there. 
I'm kind of worried about this water. Hopefully we can get through there. But let's keep going, guys. Now, let's go. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do here. Because that looks like... Doesn't really look that friendly. Uh, with all the mud. But I think we can. Yes, I can. No problemo. It's, it's doing its best. Alright, come on. Come on. I know you can do this. Good thing that the water isn't too deep. If it was too deep, then... We might have just sank. Which is also not good. Okay, let's keep going. I really want to feel like how like I still wonder like how it feels to like drive a truck I remember like I remember as a kid uh, I was like six or five years five years back then and my grandparents or my granddad or yeah my grandparents like uh, my grandpa basically had a uh, a truck company and he actually worked with basically I mean he didn't work on trucks but he actually was I mean, delivering stuff, like, from different countries, like, uh, let's say Germany to, to, like, Poland, or Poland from Russia, basically those kind of deliveries, and sometimes he also had some pre pretty interesting things, like, he had a container with, like, a, a car loaded on, and it was actually, I don't know what it was it again, I think it was a Jaguar, I don't know which model, but it was a Jaguar, a pretty expensive one, in, like, inside of a container, it's pretty crazy. And the other thing that we, he was transporting is, hmm, uh, well, let me think, I think it was uh, tomatoes, yes, tomatoes, it was basically like stacks and stacks of tomatoes, just like, <laughs> that, that's just sitting on the back of it, but yeah, that was also pretty, uh, I mean, ju just basically standard delivery, there was nothing special about it, if I can say so, but uh, I really had a great time. Like driving, like sitting, I mean, it gets pretty boring, of course, sitting in the truck all day, looking at the road and the cars passing by on the highway, going 80 or 90 kilometers. But, uh, those are some really great memories. Like, even, like, I remember the moments when we were stopping at a gas station, and, like, we, all, we always ate just, like, gas station food. <laughs> that was so great. I was really used to like homemade, like home cooked food when I was like six or seven, but never used to like eating like stuff at a gas station, like n like small things. I mean, I'm I mean I used to eat like small things at the gas station, like snacks, but not like a whole meal of like let's say mashed potatoes and meat and oh man, it was amazing. And we're almost getting there, so that's good. We're almost getting uh, getting there. There's a, a road in front of us, so so we can go ahead and speed up a little bit, speed up our journey. A little pace star with like. I'm curious how much wood is actually wooden planks are loaded in because it looks like at least. Let me see. One, two, three. There's a lot, a lot of uh, planks or logs. I mean, it's not a log, but. Okay, 35 miles per hour limit. Screw it, we're going 40, if I can. Yeah, screw it, we're going 40. Ooh, okay, no, no, don't don't drift. We might actually flip it over. That could happen. That might, could, and I mean, that could happen. <laughs> okay, so here is a place. Oh my god, okay, this... Oh man, that felt in uncomfortable. Uncomfortably close to flipping over. Okay, so here's a place. I got the wood. I got the stuff, I got the wood. Oh, crap, that's... That's deep. Low range, diff lock. That's a little better. That's helping us. Maybe not much. Okay, good, good. Going. And now back to 
Okay, almost back to normal. Good. Okay, finally, we can deliver our wood. Our wood, wood, wood. Okay, here it is. So, show task, accept, and beautiful. Okay, so again, got a little bit of money, got a little bit of uh, upgrade or rank points, whatever. Uh, so, are we getting actually any close to like ranking up? So let me see. Uh, let's see, we're rank 9. Uh, I'm curious how many okay, watchtowers to unlock. There's still quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, not bad. So, are there any achievements that we we're going to unlock? Doesn't look like it. No, okay. So, anyways, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and end off this video. So, today we managed to deliver a very, very big oil rig to the port, of course. It was kind of amazing. And uh, also remove those rocks so people can go through here with their uh, little jeeps or trucks whatever like that in uh, the middle of alaska so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and i want to thank you guys again for the amazing support and i'll see you guys all next time goodbye <laughs>